Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to kill Mokotua without dying. Now, dying in this is like a lot worse because not only do you lose the silver and the XP that you normally do, but you get sent back all the way to the start. You have to take the boat again, which costs you another 100 silver, and it's just a lot worse. So hopefully this guide helps you to avoid dying. So, uh, anyways, how to get there is you're going to have to head to the hunter's port, and then from there, there's going to be a small dock with a ticket booth. You're going to buy a ticket for 100 silver, hop on the boat when it comes, and then by the t from the time it comes, it'll take about 15 minutes to get from the port to the island. Do not jump off the ship because you will fall into a... Uh, into like a water area and that's not where you want to go for this boss so anyways um some things about the boss it's got two million two thousand seven hundred health it does quite a bit of damage through different ways um it drops between 200 silver to 400 silver per player around that area sometimes more sometimes less uh, for items, it's got an 80% chance to drop the Mogo Melons, 10% for Purple Potion and Mighty Sub, 3% for Ancient Scroll of Weapon Vitality, 1.5% for the Curse Scroll of Weapon Attack, Curse Scroll of Armor Defense, a Skill Reset Tome, and a Stat Reset Tome, and then a 1% chance for the Tua Shield, Tua Staff, Tua Bow, Moko Club, Moko Maul, and Moko Dagger. Um, so how to spawn it is when you get to the island, you're going to have to kill a bunch of the Moglos and Moglicos. Um, for every 500 that are killed, one of the totems will spawn in the middle. Now, it's not 500 per person, it's 500 in general in that server. So, in total, when 2,000 Moglos and Moglicos are killed by the server, the boss will finish spawning, technically. Because all four pillars will be there. So, anyways, how to kill it. During the actual boss fight, um, you're gonna have to pay attention to the eyes on the actual totem. I know it's going to be hard with the lag and with the amount of players, but try to. When the green eyes light up, you want to move away from the totem because it's going to be an AoE attack from the bottom of the totem that does insane amount of damage. It's like 100 damage per hit, more than, and it's just, it, it's not worth standing next to the totem. So definitely pull off the totem when the green eyes light up. Uh, when the blue eyes light up, it's basically rain falling, falling from the sky, and as long as you're moving constantly, you will be fine. Now, I recommend not sprinting at all during this. Um, just keep moving without sprinting, because you're going to want to save your sprint bar just in case you're focused by the purple idol. So, let me just talk about the purple idol. Basically, it's a laser beam that's shot out of it, and it targets one player. And if it's targeting you, you just want to run in a circle around the totem with all your stamina. So, that's when you want to use your stamina for to avoid all the damage there. And then finally, the red totem, when those eyes light up... Um, it's basically a bunch of lightning that comes down from the sky and hits the uh, the players that are all on the pedestal that the totem is sitting on. So that's how you avoid all the damage. I recommend, by the way, when you're doing this, to group up with as many people as possible. That way you get the 10% shared XP when you're all hitting it. It's great for the XP. This boss is great for money. It's all around probably one of my favorite bosses in the game. And it's really easy too as long as you know how to beat it. So anyways, guys, if this guide helped you, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to check out my other guides. Uh, check out my description for my group, my Discord, and my Twitch, which I stream on very frequently. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later.